Silvan Jr., who is a Texas televangelist. He is next in line to take over his father's church. The church preaches prosperity, much in the way uh, John was doing. Mm -hmm. Very uh, in that vein, I would say. Um, and it's, uh, it's a very interesting journey we get to see him go on. His faith is challenged. His whole belief system essentially comes crashing down during the pilot. Yeah. It is a very dark path we will see him go on before he, I guess, comes back to the light. <laughs> what special power do you have? Prophetic vision. Prophetic vision? Prophetic vision. Oh, yeah, yeah. He, see, he sees like jigsaw puzzle pieces of information, <laughs> and then as a group will work together to try and figure out what they mean. Yeah. Interesting concept of what happens in the pilot with you and uh, wife. yeah. <laughs> um, what like what's the challenge of, of you know playing that type of character that has you know I mean, it's, this is fate. Fantastic. I mean, the, the more complex the character is, the more fun they are to play. And you know, the writing was so good. And they had come up with such great detailed backgrounds that a lot of the work was done for you. You know, sometimes a lot is left up to you. And the fact that we were given all these things, I mean, and that's a that's a huge thing. When they first told me, I was like, hmm, he's gonna what? <laughs> but it was, so, you know, the actors were so great and the writing was so great that. It just, I feel like it, it elevates his story a lot because it puts him again, his faith is challenged, and his whole world crashes down just in the first episode. So it's a great, it's a great jumping off point, I would say, for the end. And it's, uh, I think it's quite interesting how that all progresses. How does your character accept the challenge of being Is there conflict there? Yeah. There's, a, there's an inner conflict to all of us. Uh, when we wake up, uh, when I wake up, uh, Peter, it's just very unclear. You can see in his eyes, it's, when he wakes up, it's just, what just happened? Like, it's just all fuzzy and it's unclear and I don't know what just happened. Uh, so there's definitely an inner conflict. Uh, and then when our powers manifest and things start to happen, we don't really know what? I mean, I snap and this kid dies. So there's 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 no control over uh, the gifts that we've been given at the beginning. They they kind of just happen. So there's that consequence with the strength yes. that you have. There's there's consequences to each of the uh, gifts that we uh, that we encounter and that we have to overcome and work around and find our way past. I think that's what's great about the show is you know they all are given this job to save the world from the impending apocalypse, but they come you know the gifts that they're given come with consequence. Their personal lives that were happening before they were given this destiny still come into play constantly throughout the uh, first season. So it is it's it's very much like if I told, somebody told you you had to save the world, your life doesn't stop. You still, you know, you have to now. There's something else to pile, to put on top of the pile. And you have to continue to negotiate, and I think that's what great what keeps the show very grounded. Is how much their personal lives still continue to develop throughout the season. What conflict is your character with the other character? How do you interplay? Battles going on there? It's five people that have different belief systems and different backgrounds, so it's very much like. You know, we take five people from this room and put them in a room and tell them to agree on one thing. <laughs> you know, especially like, the apocalypse. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so everyone kind of comes at it from a different angle. We have an atheist. We have someone who has Jewish heritage. We have the Christian, and it's it, it's 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 a great struggle. And I feel like that's what's very really relatable about the show is that that's something that we all struggle with day in and day out in the real world. Is how do we move forward as as the human race when we all have such differing opinions on how the world should progress and that people should have this and this and this and hopefully that's something that has become very relatable for everybody. <laughs> oh yeah, what what do you what do you have in common with your characters basically? Well, passion I would say. He has he has really great 
passionate about what he believes in. And I think that's why that's definitely where I came from when working on him and developing him was that side. I mean, all the research I did, that was the one thing when I would watch these preachers was just that passion. And, you know, I would be watching these sermons and have a different belief system in them. I'd be bawling at the end of like this 45 minutes because they were just so passionate and so inspiring. And it's, you know, the idea that if we can find that common thread with us all, how much we could actually inspire rather than break each other down like it happens more often than not. Yeah. How about you? Like, what's your... Uh, well, Peter's just a regular teenager. Yeah, he's got some extra baggage with his, with his history, his past, but, I mean, he goes to school, he's got, uh, I mean, he's got bullies, he's got this friend who, who it's a little bit more with, uh, he doesn't really know. I mean, there's drama. I mean, he's a teenager, straight up. This kid is a regular teenager, has some extra baggage, and oh yeah, here, save the world. <laughs> what special powers do you have? Do you overcome your bullies? Or you I'm, I'm given the gift of strength, which... Uh, oh, that comes in handy. <laughs> <laughs> no, yes. Uh, I'm, I'm given the gift of strength, and it's very much of a Hulk, not Superman strength. He it's doesn't just, turn green. I, I, don't, I, I don't turn green. But in I season have, one, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's for later. It's yeah. blue, yeah. Uh, guys, we have to wrap. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Let me take a one on you guys.